breaking news in the case of a Chicago police officer accused in that deadly drunk driving crash. Any moment, Officer Terrence Finley is expected to walk out of jail. CBS 2's Jim Williams is outside the Cook County Jail at this moment. Good evening to you, Jim. Brad and Erica, any minute, Officer Finley is expected to be released on bond and walk through those gates there. He is facing two serious charges, reckless homicide and aggravated DUI, and the judge took two previous traffic violations into consideration when he set bond today. Judge John Like said he would have given Chicago police officer Terrence Finley an I bond, but he considered Finley's two previous traffic violations for speeding and texting and driving, which CBS 2 first uncovered yesterday. So Like set bond today at $40,000. Finley is charged with reckless homicide and aggravated DUI in the crash that killed 35-year-old Marquito Reed and injured two others. He's mortified. He's just, he's, he's wrecked. He, he can't believe this happened. He didn't become a police officer to take a life. Prosecutors say Finley, then off duty, was driving around 75 miles an hour when he slammed into Tony's Philly Steak Restaurant on 87th Street early Sunday morning. Several witnesses described the crash as if a bomb went off in the restaurant. Finley told investigators he was driving east on 87th and swerved to avoid a westbound car that made a sharp turn in front of him when he crashed into the restaurant. Data from his car's airbag control module revealed his speed increased before he hit the brakes and crashed. Prosecutors say Finley's blood alcohol level was .83, just over the legal limit. Finley, who is 24, is a graduate of Western Illinois University. A good kid from a good family, his attorney says. Finley's mother is an ophthalmologist. His father is a surgical nurse. The family's mortified. They're, they just can't believe that this happened. Um, but they'll get through it. Finley's attorney told us his family had to leave the area to pull together the $4,000 or 10% of the bond to get Finley out of jail, which should happen, we are told, by the Cook County State's attorney. In a minute now, he's expected to walk out of that gate. Live outside Cook County Jail, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica, Brad. All right, Jim Williams, thank you.